Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today we are gonna talk about how to get these waves heatlessly, mostly. Let's get into it. Guys, it's heatless time. I know that you guys love when I do heatless tutorials of any kind. It's better for your hair. I totally get that, but you guys know I'm also addicted to heat, so it is really hard for me to pull myself away from heat long enough to make a video like this. But I've been trying, and I think succeeding, at creating some really pretty, beachy, natural waves without heat mostly and I've really been enjoying it. I say mostly because for me heatless hairstyles always have just a tiny bit of heat with um, the day after where I touch up any curls that just look a little off. And for me that's worth it because it's still like 90% heatless, 10% heat and that is way better than 100% heat. That is how I make peace with it, that is the trade-off I like so that's what I do, but you don't have to. You could do yours 100% heatless, you'd be totally fine. I found this to be ridiculously easy and quick and so fun for playing around with a new texture without just absolutely singeing my hair. So I am absolutely thrilled and excited about it. I hope that you guys love it as much as I do. Uh, if you're excited for some heatless hairstyles, hit that like button and help support my channel. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and join the Braidholic family here on Kaylee Melissa. So for this method, I have really fallen in love with curling ribbons. Now these are popping up all over TikTok. You can buy them on Amazon. There are other sellers all around. There are so many options. The option that I'm gonna be using is the Bunny Blowout, not sponsored. It is ridiculously good quality. I super recommend. It's got like a fluffy, plush, soft microfiber uh, that helps to absorb water from your hair. Satin top, satin, hair ties to hold your ends, creaseless clips to hold the ribbon in place while you're wrapping your hair, and it all comes in a super cute box that I store it all in, put it in my drawer, and use it when I want to. I really, really love this. If you are dedicated to the heatless lifestyle, I recommend, but it is $48. Ugh. That was the sound of my wallet dying. So in addition to the method with the curling ribbon, I'm gonna show you three other methods that are under $10 to free slash probably already in your home. Uh, so you can try those instead if you want. The only thing that I miss trying, and it's like glaring omission, is a robe tie. Like, duh. Obviously, that's the thing that started all of this. Yeah, I don't know how I missed that, but fold your robe tie in half, plop it on top of your head, and follow this method. That works too. Okay. All that said, let's talk about how to do these waves. Okay, so you're probably expecting that I am just gonna go ahead and plop my hair onto that curling ribbon, but I'm actually going to dry my hair first. Uh, yes, I have found that for me, my hair will always be dry in the morning and it still takes a really great curl if I wrap it on the curling ribbon and then spritz it with water. It's worked for me, I've tried a bunch of different things, this is my method. <laughs> but if your hair is harder to curl or you have a lot of texture to your hair, it would be better to be at this kind of place where you're like 70 to 80% dry because that way your hair is gonna be a lot more malleable, a lot easier to get into place and into shape, and a lot more likely to hold the curl really, really well. If you want to do what I do and wrap your hair while it's pretty much dry and then spray it wet, you can obviously let your hair air dry. I have been using my hair dryer. Now I know that that sounds like it's not heatless. What I do is I either put it on a low heat or I put it on cold. So even though it's a little bit of heat, it helps to minimize the amount of styling that I need to do on my hair long term, which is good for it in the long run. So I feel like it's a good trade off. But if you want to be a heatless purist, you can either let your hair dry in a curling ribbon or air dry before you put it on. Okay, so at this point we look dry, I think. The hair looks really dry. It feels a tiny bit damp, like I wouldn't put a curling iron on it right now. But this is a good enough point to go ahead and get started. First things first, we're gonna part the hair down the middle. Then I'm just gonna take one of the scrunchies from the kit and secure one side out of the way. Okay, now we are ready to bring in the curling ribbon. I uh, accidentally left the clips that come with this at home. Yikes. I'm gonna use a different one, but ideally you would get to use the ones that match this. You're gonna put it on top of your head a couple inches back from your hairline and clip it in place. Okay guys, this method is actually very easy. You're just going to make a braid using the curling ribbon as one of the pieces of the braid. That's it. So here's how we're gonna do it. You're gonna grab a little piece of hair on either side of the curling ribbon. I have learned that it's nice to start with small pieces rather than big pieces because that gives it the best look at the end. I'm not even gonna start with my bangs actually, we're gonna start with this. So we have section one, section two, and section three. And then you're just gonna start braiding. So we're gonna braid over and braid over 
and even braid over with the curling ribbon. And now that you've got your braid started, you're going to start bringing in here. So it is a French braid. Sorry, I buried the lead on that one. <laughs> Just basically before you braid this piece over, you can hold it with this other hand, grab a chunk of hair, put it with your section, braid it over. It's a little bit easier than a French braid because this isn't hair. So you don't have to worry about this getting lost. So you're really only dealing with two sections right now. So now this left section is supposed to get braided over. So you're going to pick up more hair, put it with that section and braid. And now it's time to braid the right section, which is the curling ribbon so you can just braid it over. You're never gonna add hair into the curling ribbon section because it just stays straight, which means that that hair would just stay straight and we don't want that. So now we've braided the right side over, it's time to braid the left. So we're gonna pick up another piece of hair, put it with your section, braid it over. And you're just gonna continue doing that all the way down. If you see any areas that are doing funny things, doing anything other than laying nice and straight and smooth, you wanna go ahead and brush that out because if you put it on the curling ribbon in a tangle, it's going to dry like that and it's going to look very frizzy when you take it out. Okay, so now all of the hair has been French braided in, we're gonna to switch to just doing a normal braid for the rest of the hair. And then once you get to where you only have like a couple inches left off of the curling ribbon, we're gonna stop braiding and we're gonna start wrapping. And the reason for that is that if you keep braiding, sometimes you have like a funny little bend like right at the end of the hair and it just looks funny and you're gonna to have to hit it with the curling iron in the morning or live with it and either way, it's not what we're going for. So I do go ahead and wet these just a little bit. And the reason I like to wet these is that that way I'm able to get all the hairs going the way that I want them to. So I'm literally pushing my fingers on top of and making a ribbon out of the hair as much as I can. And you want that so that the ends look nice and tamed and pretty. So once you've got that, pick whichever one you want and keep wrapping it in the direction it wants to go. So this one wants to go this way. We're gonna keep wrapping it and hold it there with one hand and then take the other one, wrap it the opposite direction. Okay, so now at this point with the curling ribbon, you're normally going to take your scrunchie and you're going to secure it around the ends of the hair. I don't like to do that because I don't wanna put any kinks into the end of the hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold up whatever I have left, even if your hair is long and you're down here. Just fold up whatever you have left. I'm holding the hair on this side, so let's put it where I'm holding the hair. There we go. And then I'm gonna put the elastic in literally right below that. That way the curling ribbon is holding the ends of the hair. They're not crimped at all. They're gonna dry nice and straight and everything is held in place easily. And there you go, that's one side done. <laughs> Let's do the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and move this little clip to the other side to help add some security. Let's do a quick little brush to make sure everything is nice and smooth. So again, two little sections, get your braid started and then you can add in some hair. Okay, we can go ahead and take this clip out. And look, we're all braided up and ready to go. Yes, these are done asymmetrically. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna take a little pause for an optional step. The braids are in, the ends have been secured. I did not do this on damp hair. So my hair needs to be dampened now. If you did this on damp or wet hair, you can skip this step. So I have this slow mister bottle. I am just going to mist all around my hair. You wanna make sure that you're getting the hair on the ribbon. You wanna make sure that you're getting both sides, that you're getting the hair that's braided. And thankfully we already got the ends so you don't have to worry too much about them, but you know, get around there too. Optional step complete, let's continue. So the uh, instructions for this curling ribbon now are to take the bigger scrunchies, I'm gonna double up on this side, and you fold it over. This is especially for people that have longer hair than me. And you secure it with the scrunchie so it's out of the way and you're looking cute. I think also if you hadn't folded it in half like I have, you could spiral it like a bun and secure it. But because of my hair length, I'm just folding it in half and securing it with my scrunchies. And there you go, that's the entire method. You French braid your hair around a curling ribbon and then you put it up with scrunchies. And I gotta say, this thing's freaking cute. Like. Would a straight man react unblinkingly if you were to walk in the room with this? No, they're gonna have stuff to say still, but it is much cuter than a sock or a robe tie or whatever else. 
And at least for me, I appreciate that. It helps me still feel a little bit cute. Also, my partner is a female and she does not care. <laughs> and my partner, my fiance. Hey. Oh, by the way, ah. Uh, this is, I'm, I'm so all over the place today. Um, thank you guys so much for all the sweet, sweet comments on the video with Jenna and I. I was like, gosh, I know my Breedaholics are amazing. I know they won't say anything mean to her, but like, gosh, please let this go well. And it did, and just, I'm so glad I can trust you guys. And you guys are so great. Just thank you so, so much. Now you wait for it to dry. You sleep on it. You let your day go by as you clean around the house, whatever, and then you're going to take it down. I will be back tomorrow to show you the takedown process and the tiny bit of heat I use to make everything look the way that I want it to. Okay, see you then. Good morning, everyone. It is reveal day for these curls. I will note, guys, if you try this and you sleep on it, it takes a little getting used to, but it's not the worst. <laughs> Just be prepared that the first time or two, it's gonna be a learning curve. So let's go ahead and take this down and see how everything is looking. This is kind of the moment of truth. You know, this is where we find out if I did a good job or not the night before. All right, let's see how she looks. Oh yeah. Okay, check it out guys. There's like a couple things here and there that I wanna tweak a little bit, but come on, that's already gorgeous. I have noticed the last couple of times, I've made sure to wrap the ends, like this two inches really well, but like this area can get a little straight. So I think I need to make sure that I'm braiding tighter once I go to normal braiding. Ooh, I braided pretty tight on this side. I guess she's a little bit more zigzaggy. I feel like there's just always the one strand that's like very centrally placed that goes a little bit nuts, and my bangs are always gonna look nuts with this method. So we're gonna ignore those. So on this side, I took smaller sections. On this side, I took bigger sections. So you can see what the result is depending. I really like the big section side. You know, normally I would say do the same thing on both sides so that you get the same result, but I wanted to show you guys. And this is the part of the tutorial where I'm gonna use a little bit of heat to just finish everything up. Slash make these two sides match so that I don't look half and half throughout the day. So I'm gonna be using a three quarter inch iron with a clip and I'm just going to be doing my little natural waves technique. I'll link that video above. You just clip the iron in Turn it, and then once the section gets hot, you're going to point the iron at your head and then duck it underneath the hair and bring it back up. And then repeat. And the more times that you do the little duck and twist, the more kind of wavy natural it looks. Okay, I feel like now I can actually assess the situation. So I definitely see some funny little zigzags happening up here that I'm not as big a fan of, but I think the stuff under it looks pretty nice. Again, this is the smaller section, so you definitely have, it's like a lot tighter and more zigzaggy. So now what I'm gonna do is take as few sections as possible and just touch up anywhere where I feel like it just looks a little bit amiss. One thing I have learned about myself in this process is I really love the look of curling iron curls. So if I let my just kind of like autopilot brain take over, I will end up curling every single piece of hair. So what I do is I try to curl as few as possible and if I feel like I'm getting into that rut where I just keep grabbing more sections, I'll put the iron down, go do something else for like a second, like go grab some coffee, go whatever, then come back and usually then I can be like, oh, actually this looks good, I don't need any more heat. Just in case anyone else is a recovering heat addict. All right, and that is this side touched up versus this side not. This side, you know, we all remember, looked a little better coming off the curling ribbon, but you get an idea. It just helps to kind of finesse everything, but it's still not curling every single piece of hair. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm just looking for any pieces that I think could use a little bit of help. If the other side looked like this, I would not be doing much. I'd probably hit this piece that looks a little bit straight and then this piece. And I think that would probably be it. And there is the touched up version of this side. I really genuinely love this. I think it's so, so pretty. And again, it's an amount of heat that I'm totally okay with. And I think it looks good enough when it comes off the curling iron. It's just not quite up to my heat addicted standards. 
Before I show you what products I like to put in this, I'm going to loosen this side a little bit so it matches this one. Okay, for products, I like to give it a little bit of texture. A favorite that I've been using lately has been the Kristen S Working Serum and the Kenra Texturizing Taffy. You could also use the Kristen S Depth Defining Pomade if you don't want to buy this guy. This smells like watermelon though, and it's real good. So I'm going to be using two pumps of the Kristen S Shine Serum. Then I'm going to get a pea-sized amount of the taffy. You don't need much. And I'm going to mix them together. That way you get the texture of the taffy. You get a little bit of that grip, but it's not gonna weigh your hair down or become sticky. And then we're just going to like lightly kind of glaze it over the ends and middle of the hair. If you want, you can grab specific curls and like run it over them. And it adds shine. It adds definition, a little bit of beachiness, and uh, a little bit of that taffy goes a long way on fine hair. So start small, work your way up. If you have thick hair, you could start a little heavier than I did. And then for the final thing to hold everything in, Color Wow Cult Favorite Hairspray. This stuff is correctly named. This hairspray is a new favorite of mine. It's very flexible extremely touchable and this is the final result i have really been loving it i feel like it is still really easy it's not really intrusive on my time it gives me a way to have like a totally different look than I normally do and I really, really, really like it. So that is how to do this with a curling ribbon, bunny blowout or otherwise, but let's talk about some of the ridiculously easy DIY stuff that I tried just to see what might work. Let me take you along on my scientific experiment. <laughs> Try number one, tube socks. These were almost too short for me. It was very difficult to braid the hair onto them. I will say these were the most uncomfortable to sleep on. It became like a little pole on the side of my head. I guess that's just what happens when you like ball a sock up. I don't know, but mm, zero out of 10 for the experience sleeping on it. But the result was actually really pretty. I liked the tighter curls. I liked that it was really bouncy and voluminous. I was feeling my hair that day. I would just probably try like fluffy socks next time. That actually brings me to the next thing I tried, which were fluffy socks. But this time I went with knee highs. These were five bucks at Target. They feel like barefoot dreams blankets. I mean, I tied these in a knot so that it would be a curly ribbon. So that's why I have a snowball on top of my head. This was so much better to sleep on. Oh my gosh. And with sock curls, you can flip the end up over the ends of your hair and it holds it in place for you. It's the easiest way to finish off a heatless curl. What I still wasn't loving was that it still was a lot tighter, which wasn't quite what I was going for. I was going for this. So I would say if you want it tighter, go with the single sock. If you want a little bit of a looser wave, you could buy two pairs and put one sock inside of the other sock, and then you have more diameter, therefore bigger curls. This one I would do again. With the tight curls, probably like a six, seven out of 10, wasn't quite what I was going for, but felt good, created curls. I think if I could get larger ones with this, it would be like a nine out of 10. And then finally, I decided to get a little crafty and use a microfiber towel. This is the kind of microfiber that feels like more like a stuffed animal. It's like very, very soft and uh, does not grab at your skin at all, which I need. So I got a pack of six towels on Amazon. You could buy one or just get some microfiber material, whatever you wanna do. What I did was cut the towel in half so that it would create the diameter that I was looking for. And then I rolled up one side as tight as I possibly could and secured it with hair elastics. I just did that every couple of inches, pulling the towel really tight as I went to make sure it was as tight and as like rigid as it could be so that it wouldn't flatten while I was sleeping. And then I left a couple of inches with no elastic at the ends because you can still flip it up. You kind of have to like pivot it around, but you flip it up and it holds the end still. Then I did that with the other side and I used some safety pins to pin them together and I made a microfiber curl ribbon. <laughs> and I gotta say, I love the results of this one. It's right up there with what I'm able to get with the bunny blowout. It was comfortable to sleep on. It's super soft. It feels nice to work with. I am very, very pleased with my own little DIY invention, if I do say so myself. And of course, the one that I've gone back to over and over has been the bunny blowout. I do really love it. Like I get that it's pricier, but to me, I'm like, it's kind of the price of a curling iron and I use it just as much. So it's worth it to me. It's really great quality. 
I feel really cute in it. So out of all of them, the bunny blowout is my favorite, but if I had to pick just one DIY, the microfiber was my very, very favorite. And then just below that were the long fuzzy socks. But there you go, guys. These are my new favorite heatless waves that I am addicted to um, and the science experiment I concocted with socks and towels along the way. I hope that you guys give this a try. I think it's so, so fun. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and learning a new heatless technique. Let me know in the comments, have you you guys tried heatless curls or waves before and did it go amazingly or very very poorly I feel like there's only really two options <laughs> me personally I have had the full gamut of experiences I really should have recorded the terrible ones because they were they were a lot but this one is working for me and it makes me want to try more curling ribbon curls let me know if you'd be interested in that too with that said guys that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit that like button to help support my channel if you're new here you can hit the subscribe button and join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee Melissa and all y'all can hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video but that's it for today whether you're old or new or a casual lurker thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye Oh, my arms look strong like that. Hello. <laughs> Which means I make a tiny cut and make a bit. Not me not having the entire thing here to do for you guys. That's embarrassing. <laughs> the glow, the glow, the glow though. Was that light off? <laughs>